I'm kidding because the fire's already alight. I'm just going to show you one of the latest wonderful things I've found out. If you just get ordinary cotton fluff, this is actually from raw cotton buds from the side of the road near Moree somewhere with the seeds being cotton picked and cotton picked out. Fluffed it up and put it near some paper that will start easily, in this case toilet paper. The fire's going at the back there so I ignore the smoke for the demonstration but this it's amazing. One spark and that cotton lights up enough to light a secondary fuel and get your fire going. So you can undo a cotton bud, a tampon, uh, a cotton a roll of cotton wool. You can do it with a dandelion bud, and as you saw before, you can do it with paper bark. So fire going. We've had a bit of firewood provided by the local rainforest destroying joinery. Fire going for our pyrolyzer. Right. Now I've got to find a pyrolyzer to do that. Here we have the last pyrolysis event, which was stalks from a woody plant. Here's the um, pine cone going in, and the other tin going on over the front. Nestling in there. So you can hear the pine cone in there. Only one way out for the gases. Well, a little bit of leak here, but mainly out there. They're made of steel. This is a beetroot tin. This is a gas absorber from a car. We put it there. Ouch, we should be able to see it. You can hear the, oh, that's better. You can hear the um, iron, the rust coming, pinging off the pyrolyzer. From the nozzle just here, you can see there's, there's actually a stream of steam coming out just here. Yeah, it is. See, I'm blocking it now. Making the steam go everywhere. And with that steam now, small amounts of burnable vapour from the pine cone will be coming out. And slowly the now steam will reduce and the flammable vapors will increase and then that stream will catch fire. Wood gas, um, all of the gases that normally come off wood, usually toxic ones like creosote, furans, aldehydes, generally fairly poisonous chemicals but once burned in the firebox like that, back to CO2 and safe. It would not, what would normally appear is smoke from a fire, so mm -hmm. if you can make a fire not smoke then you're not adding heavy duty poisons and greenhouse gases. The various volatile gases, there's also methane, uh, which will burn as well, and the methane is 30 times more potent than CO2, so it has to be burnt, and not let, uh, let go of smoke. Uh, there's steam coming out, there's still, still something coming out. See, I'm making air, now it's starting to burn. This bit of bamboo is confusing it a bit, then we get the bamboo out of the way, you can see the stream there. Get this bit out of the way, we can really see it. Yes, there we go, we can see it really well now. It's good to have it exiting from the pyrolyzer onto something hot that'll set it on fire. Yeah, this is all this is all wood gas here coming out of the pine cone. This is all volatile pine cone being burnt. And all that would have returned to the atmosphere anyway as the pine cone rotted down. Here we're using it for heat value for warming the house. If you add carefully add air sideways to it, just like a Bunsen burner, it'll burn with a blue blue blowtorch flame. It might be a good next experiment. The pyrolyzing is happening inside the tin. The pine cone is being pyrolyzed. I think you'd have to say the pyrolysis gases are slowing down now. That, that flame doesn't seem to be quite so vigorous and now I can actually see it better because it's not coming out quite so fast. In fact it looks almost a little bit greasier like now we're getting the lower volatiles out, the heavier volatiles coming out last. Also coming out with the uh, methane is hydrogen burning as well. Usually you can see the hydrogen as a very fine blue flame here it's very hard to see it, but 
right at the tip of the nozzle. You might see a little bit of blue. is how much longer will it go for? There's not that much mass in the pine cone, so I can't see it going too much longer, which is about probably 15 or 20 minutes altogether. And you can see now it's diminishing, and a few more minutes in it. Um, I usually leave it, normally at that size pyrolyzer is packed much more fully than would take one and a quarter hours from beginning to end. So there's actually not much in there, and so it's finishing quickly, and also I usually do a 15 minute post thing. So after that flame stops, I'll leave it in there for 15 more minutes. And stop. That's kind of a bit better, isn't it? Mm -hmm. kind of, there's still a bit too much flame behind it. 